Hey, hey, what's happening all? Figured I showed you guys something real fast. So I laid down PGR Sunday evening and it was roughly around this time. It was actually a little later, much darker than the sun was already setting. And laid it at my usual 0.375 ounces per thousand. I did it with Turfplex and Nutrizolve. I had irrigation set up for Monday morning. So got the lawn all soaked up and everything for uh, before uh, sunrise on Monday. And then come around 2 p.m., around roughly around 2 p.m. to 3 o'clock, I started getting some tip burn. So check this out. Look at this. What the heck is going on? Is it just the 100 degree temps that are causing this to happen? Because I did not get this last time, but I guess maybe it's just too hot. But yeah, and what's funny is it's happening on the edges. So it could be the way I'm spraying it. So when I get up to around the edges of the of the lawn, I kind of, uh, I would have to demonstrate it, but I'm basically like spraying it like this to like maybe a foot and a half in. And then I start doing my path. I start doing my straight line. So from there on, I go down and spray down to the end and I come back. Uh, this time I actually went this direction. So I went back and forth this way. Let me show you over here on this side. I got tip burn right here. It actually doesn't look that bad today compared to yesterday. Yesterday was pretty brutal. I thought I killed my lawn. It, it, everything was yellow. It looks like I get, I'm getting some green back. So grass is probably growing through uh, of it right now. But you can kind of see the line. You see that right there? You see where... It's yellow and where it's green. I'm not even sure I can do my stripes today. I, I am gonna mow uh, in just a little bit here, but uh, yeah, I'm gonna mow and try to get rid of all this, uh, these uh, burnt spots, tip burn. Cause if you can see, let me get close up right here. You see that right there? It's just, it's just on the edge of the blade. So it's not the full blade that's uh, burnt, it's just the tips, but yeah. I mean, what the heck, dude? I did everything that I was supposed to do, and I still get tip burn. Just the hot heat. But if you guys know anything about this, leave me a comment. Let me know. Let me know what I'm doing wrong. So I did give some water. I hand watered it in last night, uh, especially the spots where we had the tip burn, because I was just getting worried. I was, I was hoping that maybe the water would help reduce it, and it seems like it did seeing some green go through but I'm gonna go ahead and give it a mow and see where we sit where we go from that I noticed that the heat is actually making the ground look unlevel now I don't know if that's is that's a common thing I mean it's really hot I guarantee you if I put a thermometer um, the soil temp readings in there I guarantee you that the the ground temperature is like 100 degrees something during the day I can check. I can actually check that website. It's a gentle website that tells you like the soil uh, temperature. Guarantee you, it's like in the hundreds. But I'm noticing that what was once level during the month of July now looks unlevel for the month of August, just because of this heat. And you know, due to the heat, that's what could cause some of this unlevelness. And I don't know. Maybe. Uh, Maybe I gotta do another top dressing project next year. Actually, I, I do plan on doing it, but I was gonna go light. But yeah, I'm starting to see like, like undulations. It's not like completely flat like it used to be, or like it was a month ago. But anyways, all right, I'm gonna get down to the mill. Okay, it's been 48 hours since the mow, and all that water and sunlight and heat has actually pushed through the tip burn. Let me flip it around, show you guys. Yeah, so we're looking a lot better now. Seen a still a little bit of tip burn, so that mow that I did, uh, 
didn't quite get everything because I think the grass it it burned up a little bit more than just the tips. But overall, the green is back. So that was just a temporary damage from the PGR, and didn't damage it too bad. We're back to being green. But surprisingly, guys, I'm about to do something crazy because we are getting way too thick. I'm going to do a height of cut reset. So I'm currently at 0.7. That's why I mowed it on Tuesday. I'm going to mow it down to 3 8 And then I'll gradually bring it back up. Uh, I'll probably mow like every two days or so. Whatever. I'll just, I'll just have to play by ear and see how everything looks. But uh, I'm going to start at 3 8 tonight. And then the next mow I'll do it at maybe 0.4. And then take it to 0.5. And then I'll leave it there for a little bit. And then once we get closer to cooler temperatures, I'll bring it back up to 0 0.6, 0 0.7. And close it out maybe perhaps on three quarters of an inch. So yeah, say goodbye to the green, guys. Uh, it's going to be gone for a little bit. But alright, time to get it going. Time to scalp it. Say bye-bye. All right, this is at three eighths. I might have to raise up the height of cut because um, it's too low. The the mower is getting stuck. So, um, given I I need to get this all done tonight, I don't think uh, three eighths is gonna give me enough time. So I'm probably gonna try to do 0.4 maybe or 0.45. I might have to even just do half an inch because the mower is basically getting stuck and I'm having to lift it. And then it, it'll skip the areas where I'm mowing and then I have to come back over it again. So I, I went over this section probably like five times just to get it to where it's at. And there's no way I'm going to be able to do this through the whole lawn tonight. So we're approaching almost 8 p.m. I believe. Yeah, I may just have to do half an inch and then come back in with three eighths maybe uh, a few days from now. But uh, I don't know if it has to do with the high cut bed knife that I have or maybe it's just um maybe is that the grass is just too too thick um, you're, you're cutting weight you're taking so much off all at once because remember when i did my scalp um before i'm trying to think i was at point the last scalp i did was before we did the aeration and i think i was at point six and i took it down to point three and i didn't have any issues and now uh, I, I'm at 0.7, I, the lawn's at 0.7, and I'm taking it down to 3.8, so 0.375. So, yeah, I don't know, it could it could be the bed knife, um, high cut bed knife is just not able to cut that low, I don't know. Um, it is spec'd out to cut at uh, 0 0.315, 0 0.3125, which is uh, 5 sixteenths. But I think maybe your grass has to be uh, low enough to start at that height of cut before you can even get there. So if you're cutting like at quarter or three quarters of an inch and you're trying to get down to five sixteenths, maybe it's not even possible because you're just taking too much grass off at once. Um, so you know, so given that right now this is like over 0.7, right? Because I cut at 0.7 and it's probably like at 0.75 now, um, three quarters. So I'm trying to go from three quarters to three eighths, and maybe it's just not working out that way so I'm gonna try to raise it up to 0.4 or 0.5 and see how it goes I do want to keep this at 0.5 like I said and then slowly get it back up to 0.7 as we get to the toward the end of the season so yeah I'll be right back guys stay tuned all right so I did 0.5 here and it's not that low so I readjusted it again I'm doing 0.4 so this is at 0.375, this one's at 0.5, so hopefully 0.4 is going to get it down correctly. And I'll just let it go back up to 0.5 and just keep mowing at that height. Alright, let's get it going, it's getting dark.
Well, we ran out of time. It's like oh, getting close to nine o'clock. It's dark. Can't see much, even with the lights on. So I'm just gonna have to do this again later. So this is at point four. Uh, I was still getting bogged down when I hit some heavy spots in the yard. So I went over this section several times just to, cause it's just hard. I don't know. I don't know if it's the bed knife that I have right now. Cause I switched to the high cut and it's just not able to get down that low. Or maybe it's just not able to grab grass as much given it's how thick it is. I really don't know. Uh, it's the first time I've scalped um, with this much grass. Maybe the grass is just too thick, like I've been saying. So that, that's probably a big factor. And um, trying to go down from 0.7 to 3.8 just doesn't work out because of the, the way it is. So, yeah, it's, a, it's definitely a longer task than I had uh, estimated. So definitely need to do this during the day. I was gonna get this all done in an evening, but no, not not possible. So we got three eights here. Uh, no time to lay down any furt. Just gonna let it cook in the in the heat tomorrow. We are hitting 100 degrees for the next week or so. It's been 100 degrees this entire week. It's gonna be another 100 degrees all throughout next week. Figured uh, if I can slam some nitrogen down after the scalp and water it in really well and get that heat to cook it uh, we'd be back to green in no time but uh, yeah this point the scalping at a point four is gonna take a lot longer than anticipated so pretty much just got all this here done still have all this to go uh, I'm busy tomorrow Saturday is tomorrow I'm busy got stuff to do so I have to reconvene on Sunday to do this all right, good morning all. Back out here Sunday morning. Um, obviously wasn't able to get the scalping done due to how much I'm trying to take off. So I thought about it uh, yesterday since I was busy, wasn't able to continue the scalping yesterday. And I really think uh, the reason why the mower could not get through the grass is just because of the thickness of the grass. So um, I'm gonna take it down to half an inch instead of the three eighths and i think from that point on i'll see how it looks and then i'll just do point four i won't do it on the same day i may do it the next day maybe like later on in the week or so let me flip the camera around and show you guys what how things are looking after you know i guess 48 hours no not even 48 hours like 36 hours i guess so here it's at uh point four still brown and yellow here's the three eighths it's actually i did dump a half a pound of nitrogen in this section so i'm um, just waiting for it to green back up hopefully uh, it will in a few more days still pretty brown i'm trying to keep this section moist as well uh, i don't want it to dry out today is going to be one of the hottest days of the month they said uh, today it's going to be 108 so I'm approaching 8 a.m. right now. I want to see if I can get the scalp completed before it gets too hot.
Okay, that wasn't too bad. Mower got stuck just a little bit, but it wasn't as severe as the uh, going at 0.4. You can still see the stripes. I'm debating whether I should uh, lower the height of cut down to 0.4 now, now that I've got uh, more room to work with. You can see the difference between the 0.4 and the 0.5 right here. So, yeah, just uh, one tenth of an inch, there's a big difference. Let's check that out. Yeah, so we still got some green. It's light green now. It's not like dark, dark green as it was before. But um, that's just what you expect out of a scalp. So I did mention that I do want to maintain this at 0.5 until we start getting later in the season. Then I want to bring it back to 0.7. But as of right now, if I just keep mowing at 0.5, I feel that these uh, yellow spots, I guess these scalp marks or scalp spots, whatever you want to call it, are going to eventually green up and get back to normal. Do the uh, full green effect again at half an inch. I wouldn't anticipate it being as dark and vibrant as 0.7, but um, at least we'll get rid of the thickness and the floating of the mower which is the primary reason this is happening in the first place this 3 8 was a little too aggressive lesson learned and let me show you guys the clippings so i really felt like i was mowing down a christmas tree if you guys are familiar with pgr now at this point um the thickness of the grass is based on just the the blade count on on like a single strand of uh, Bermuda uh, I don't know what the term is called but you see that it's, uh, it's very very uh, thick a lot of blades so that's that's the primary reason why the mower was getting stuck it wasn't so much that it was just tall well tall I guess the, t the height too because you're going from 0.7 to 3 8 and that's a 0.325 of an inch that you're trying to take off, which I did not have that problem early in the season when I was going from 0.6 to 0.3 um, for my scalp prior to aeration. But uh, again, I'm not, I wasn't on PGR at that time. So uh, that is a, one of the major factors. But yep, the scalp is completed, guys. I am debating whether I'm going to do a lower it down at 0.4 and do another one, or I should just leave it as is. I'll think about it here in a few minutes. All right, I decided just to keep it at 0.5. Uh, I'll take it down 0.4 some other time, just not right now. So if you look at the lawn, I'm watering it in. It's going to be 108 today, so I've got to cool off this little cut that I just did. And, um, I will be putting down some urea tonight. I'm not going to put it right now because it's going to burn the lawn. I'm going to put a half a pound of nitrogen throughout the entire yard, except for the section that I mentioned before. So I'll put it in the center lawn, over there by the tree, behind me here, and water that in. I got irrigation set up to run uh, tomorrow morning. So urea will be sitting out there. I may water, hand water that in as well uh, this evening, and then let the irrigation take care of the rest. But yeah, that's it for now, guys. I think what I'm gonna try to do is just um, just let just let these spots fill in first. Like so, the scalp marks you see up here uh, from cutting it short, let those fill in, and then some other time I'll take it down to 0.4, and then from there I'll just keep maintaining it at 0.5 and keep mowing it at 0.5, and then let it gradually let it get it back up to 0.7. But yeah, I mean the half inch is not too bad. Um, you just see a few scalp marks there, but it's not terrible. And uh, that should fill in in no time. Still can see stripe action here with half inch. Pretty happy with that. So this kind of just tells me something like maybe I can just do half inch next season. I don't need to really get it to the 0.7 in order to see stripes because you can see it pretty well with just half inch. And I do like how short it is. It looks a lot cleaner. Looks a lot more like a golf course for sure. 
So, yeah, something to think about next season. All right, guys, it's Saturday. I want you guys to check this out. We are officially over a week since the scalp. Remember, I did it on Friday evening. Yesterday um, was exactly one week. And here we are on the Saturday. And we are pretty much back to where we started. You can see still a little bit of the some of the old grass there. But um, yeah, by next week, it's going to be all back to normal, guys. Do not discount Bermuda grass. It repairs itself. The best is one of the alpha grasses out there. Check that out. If I were to tell you I scalped this a week ago, you wouldn't believe me. But with these hot temperatures in the hundreds and giving an adequate amount of water, grass is pretty much back to where it was. And, over, and the best thing of all is that it's uh, the height of cuts actually even lower, so we're much lower and tighter, which is pretty, which is, which is what I was wanting. Definitely got the, um, definitely got the thickness out. But yeah, I'm gonna go ahead and give it a mow today, 0.55. It is time to lay down my furt as well for the upcoming month of September. Uh, we got the last week of August next week, and this is this weekend is my schedule to go ahead and lay the furt. So I'm gonna dump down after the mow. I'm gonna do Carbon Pro G, Essential G. I'm actually gonna do a combination of both. My last bag of 14714, Turf Plex Nutrizolve PGR. Tomorrow I'll water that in with RGS Humic 12, and my Liquid Iron Simple Long Solutions. And we be we'll be set for the month of September. But anyways, uh, I'm gonna go ahead and get the get that started. I'll be right back, guys. Done. Nice fresh cut on the lawn. It's about 3 p.m. right now. Hitting 100 degrees. But it looks like I never even scalped the lawn. Looking good. I'm telling you guys, Bermuda is the alpha grass. You can do whatever you want to damage it, but it always comes back. Especially this side. Cut this at three eighths, just a little over a week ago, and it's already back. We fully thrown in by next week. All those little uh, brown, those little scalp spots you see, those will be all gone. All right, the sun's starting to set now, so it's time for me to lay my granular fur to my liquids. I'm gonna be laying down Essential G like I did last month. And then I'm gonna actually add a Carbon Pro G to it. So I'm going all out for the last month of August. And then I'm gonna lay this full bag of 14714, it's my last bag. And then I've got my liquids, Turf Plex Nutrizolve and PGR there. And that should be all set for the month of September. And then also I'm gonna be throwing down a Bifren XTS. I'm gonna do 0.15 ounces per thousand. 
Um, I'm a little bit paranoid right now with the talk of army worms. I mean, I think I saw something that looked like an army worm, but I'm just gonna go ahead and do just to, just for a peace of mind to you know take care of my lawn. Hopefully, it'll never happen. But anyways, um, that concludes this video. If you guys enjoyed it, please hit the like like button and subscribe if you haven't already. And happy mowing, everybody. And I'll see you in the next video.